Okay, so in the A now, it says there's a split ED super long after our X3X cell. So we've got our X3X cell. Now remember, we're just going to play like the scale. It doesn't matter where we started from. Although with each shape is going to start the scale from the same note. So the A shape is always going to start the scale from the fifth. Because when you play an A on the open string, E becomes the fifth of that A. So that's why we start the A shape on the fifth, and that's why 5 6 gets the A shape. All right? So we have the nice S3XL, 5 6 7, root 2 3 4 5 6. Then we go into what's a split. E D shape and the entire E D shape is seven root two three four. So if I took this right here, copied it, and then did a four fret line there. Okay, and we'll make it a little longer so it's nice and even. That's where that's what we're looking at with that super long ED and it's going to be split. So we're just going to do the 7 and the root part and then the 2 3 4. And I thought and I thought and I thought and what ha what if we look at this 7 root as more important than just a partial string shape? What if we look at that as a chord, a couple of chords that involve the seven and involve the root? But what two chords would they would that be? We can look at that now. So let's look at the root first. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. We've got cursor mode, we'll zoom in a little bit. Remember this is the A shape. Okay. So we have our S3XL here. That's fine and dandy. That, that's all good. That's all good. There's our X3XL. So that's, that's, the, that's the best thing about the, the open A pattern. And that's a diatonic. You can play a pentatonic. Just leave the 4 off and the 7 off. All right. So you got an A shape C that's coming out. A flat, but uh, a D flat, but A shape C here. Where is it? Nice, nice location on, on, I like things down this slow. This is where my D shape used to be on the other uh, crazy guitar. So, we got that A shape C there. Now, to, to do that S3XL pentatonic, it's just 5, 6, uh, 5, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6. And that would be the same as the A shape if you could play those lower notes. See? And the pentatonic. Sorry, got that wrong. Brick wall pattern. So I should have went straight up there until the warp. So that's the same sound, is it not? When I'm I tuned the piano to the guitar, so if I'm going to play uh, an A shape C here, it should sound like an A right there. Okay, so they're in agreement now, but really they're both A flat instruments. Now the piano is an A flat instrument. Okay, we're doing real good today. Today, a um, so we have an S3XL there, and what I wanted to say was now I can explain what I wanted to do to, to tell you is starting on the fifth, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one. So it doesn't matter where you are on the scale as long as you learn how to play 
the diatonic scales in general. Why? Because they sound good even if you, no matter what mode you play. Watch this. know how to kind of bring the sound of your scale to a little local tonal center that's only two or three notes from what you're you're kind of um, kind of chromatically well not chronically but naturally going along you know in the scale and you just stop on little half notes and the, you know so it all sounds good so that's what I'm saying don't worry about oh but the A starts on root well, yeah, that is the A string, and root would be, I guess, it, if we wanted to draw a fret nut there. If I drew the fret nut there, hey, this is a fret nut. We better believe we're talking about the key of C now, and this is the root, uh, the key of A now, rather, um, because E is the fifth of A. So the root would be, then the root would be the A note, okay? But if there's no fret nut there, it's just an A shape. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be. Here's an A shape def. Okay. So let's let's look at this. We have a nice S3XL here. And then on top, we simply have an A shape, 5, 6. Okay, so it goes 5, 6, 7, root 2, 3. This is in the key of C, but it's really in the key of flat. 4, 5, 6. Then we have 7 root. Now, let's, let's get smart about it. So, I'm going to get to the other chart right now. So here's the other chart. And what I want you to see is we got the same situation here. Here's an S4L, five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six. These, don't worry about these notes are colored and these aren't. I just didn't color these in because this chart is under construction, okay? It's being edited tonight after the, you know, but I thought it'd be more exciting just to get our feet wet in this stuff. So there's our S3XL. What are we going to look at? What is this E and what is this D? Okay, we're going to match up this E over here. Look at this E. It's over here. It's the, a mi it's the E minor shaped A minor. 